In this lecture we are going to be examining a number of different subjects including licensing, pricing and the markets other than the US. Let's start by examining medical marijuana versus recreational. It is claimed that cannabis has over 400 health benefits. However the reality is there is very limited solid evidence including clinical trials to back up these claims. Limited research however suggests cannabinoids might reduce anxiety, reduce inflammation and relieve pain, control nausea and vomiting caused by cancer chemotherapy, kill cancer cells and slow tumor growth, relax tight muscle in people with MIDS, stimulate appetite and improve weight gain in people with cancer and AIDS. To put these optimistic claims into perspective the National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine reviewed the scientific literature concerning marijuana's health effects, good and bad. It found substantial or conclusive evidence for only three benefits, treating nausea, chronic pain and spasticity associated with multiple sclerosis, and moderate evidence for one other, sleep disturbances associated with certain conditions. So whilst marijuana has many potential benefits, these benefits have been arrived at with limited testing. However evidence is only going to build to support these claims over time, and other new ones being discovered. Let's turn to the question of how is cannabis taken? We agree this is a stupid question on the face of it. But it is worth exploring because we believe that this very question forms the basis of the potential of this market. These are the five methods. Smoke it. Inhale through a vaporizer. Eat it. Capsule or brownie. Lotion to apply to skin. Place a few drops of a liquid under your tongue. The potential is in the non-smoking method. Particularly for non-smokers where a capsule or a brownie is going to be preferable to a glass bomb. Let's take a look at pricing. It is estimated that legal marijuana is 10% more expensive than its illegal counterpart. The average price in the US based on medium quality is $299, it is highest in the East, $319 and lowest in the West, $274. Here are a few sample prices per ounce by strain. Illinois $480 Double Dream. Wyoming $140 Durban Poison. Mexico $50 The Lime. Venezuela $140 Colombian Gold. Australia $400 bubblegum. The most expensive countries to buy marijuana in the world is the United Emirates with an average price of 102 euro per gram, next is Brunei at 68 euros per gram, Japan at 63 euros, Estonia 23 euros, Singapore 20 euros and Ecuador 19 euros. The cheapest place to buy marijuana is India. At 0.08 euro per gram. The cannabis plant is native to India. South Africa is next at 0.092 euro, Nigeria 0.185 euro, Brazil 0.278 euro, Colombia 0.370 euro, Dominican Republic 0.463 euro and China 0.740 euro. Out of interest Afghanistan is about 4 euro per gram. This is based on a conversion of 1 euro to 1 United States dollar and 20 cents. Although the US market represents 25% of the global cannabis market it is projected that legal cannabis sales will represent 72% of total global sales by 2025. Outside the US there are only two countries where recreational marijuana is legal, Canada and Uruguay. A few other countries of note include Israel, one of the top medical cannabis importers in the world. It also has one of the most progressive medical cannabis industries in the world. Luxembourg, although a small country it is expected to be the first in the EU that makes recreational marijuana legal. Germany, has the biggest market for medical use cannabis in the world and the largest importer. Italy, is the second largest for medical use marijuana. Argentina, Colombia, Chile and Peru permit medical use marijuana. Australia and New Zealand also allow medical use marijuana. England allow medical use marijuana, although there are many restrictions which have severely hindered this market. 
cannabis in all forms is illegal throughout Asia although Thailand began allowing medical use of cannabis and more recently allowed it to be infused into foodstuffs. Where is the money being spent? The vast majority of money is being spent on flower cannabis. That market represents over 50% of the total market, in some states it is over 70%. Concentrates and edibles are eating into this market as they experience higher growth. There is also a growing use of vaping products which despite a setback have carved out around 10-15% of the market and growing. The reality is for this market to grow and become mainstream there must be alternatives to the bong and the joint, and this is where vaping and edibles can potentially expand this market beyond all recognition. Now look at the issue of licensing. When a state legalizes cannabis that doesn't mean that anyone can open up a store and start selling marijuana. This is only the first step. However it does depend on the state as some have made the process more complex than others. Take California for example. California has one of the most complex systems in place. With 58 counties and 482 incorporated cities, each municipality has the power to create their own unique set of requirements. Although already a big market it still has massive potential as only 20% of California's cities have implemented cannabis regulation. A wannabe cannabis grower or retailer will have to obtain a license and that is not a cheap process. In California there are a range of annual fees payable from Speciality Cottage Outdoor at $135 per year to medium indoor, costing $77,905 a year. The Colorado system is more streamlined with only six tiers compared to California's 16. Fees are also significantly cheaper with a maximum annual fee of $5,300. Many states and municipalities restrict the number of cannabis businesses. As well as licensing requirements some of the other barriers to entry include high application fees, strict regulations, stringent financial reporting and management requirements. Patience is essential when applying for a cannabis license. It can take over two years and costs can reach $300,000 plus. In our third and final lecture we will examine what the future of marijuana looks like and of course the investment opportunities.